Okay, guys, so uh, welcome to another Force Wu news. Not as much news this week because uh, Jordan spent half this stream, more than half of it, uh, opening a booster box with all the new cards and stuff. So <laughs> there is some news regarding stuff like that and a couple other things and questions that were asked, as well as stuff from the official Force Will page that uh, posted that we'll go over real quick. So uh, we'll just get right into it. So first, the main Force Will page, you might have seen this already, they posted three erratas for one for a pre-existing card and uh, two for uh, two of the cards coming in Echoes of the New World. So first is Special Armor. If you remember, it's the one void cost addition for Resonator. And before it said, if added Resonator would be destroyed, destroy this card instead. And they changed it to, if added Resonator would be destroyed, banish this card instead. Um, and so that's just to bring it up to date with the rest of the cards, I'd assume, and different things like that. The second errata uh, was for Zero Circle of Protection. I'm not quite sure what that was. We'll find out, I'm sure, when the printed card actually comes out, because as far as I can tell, it's the same as, as what was leaked before with the printed cards, actually. So I'm actually not sure what's going on there. I'll double check. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the errata is on there. And lastly, we already talked about this, was Neo Berry of Shadows, which they switched it from your opponent can't play activate abilities to your opponent can't play non-will activate abilities. So that was a very big important change. So glad they got to that. So getting into the other themes, pull it up right here. So it is worth noting, I totally forgot about this, um, but in case you guys haven't noticed, Force of Will hasn't posted anything for Quest Clear. Usually they've posted by now because we actually should be receiving cards in the mail right now in order to build up hype for this upcoming set. And there's nothing as of right now. And before in the previous uh, things, the reason I haven't really said much about it is because Jordan said uh, they weren't going to give us any information about it because they didn't want anyone to be at a disadvantage for if they released what date it's actually going to happen and stuff like that. They wanted everyone to be on an equal playing field when they announced it. However, they haven't announced it yet, and so I don't know if that means they're not doing it or not. If they do it now, it's kind of a little bit late in the game to do that as far on their end as far as promotional material and stuff like that. I won't complain if they do it this late in the game, but it's kind of odd, so hopefully we'll hear something from that. When, during the box opening, it was confirmed that the box does have the BioBox promo inside the box itself, so before it's something that wherever you bought it from, they would give it to you, or if you order online, it should be shipped with it. Now it actually comes in a plastic wrapper inside of the booster box itself. So you're always gonna get that, you don't have to worry about it. It's kind of a nice, much cleaner packaging for it. So I like that a lot. Um, he did confirm something that was asked last time, which is next cluster because of the way the box, booster boxes are gonna be changing their shape and how they work and all that stuff that there will not be any more box toppers going forward. So the box toppers are, oh no, I can't grab it. Well, it's things that come in the boxes with the pictures of different resonators and rulers and different things like that. So those will no longer be a thing once rotation happens. And he did confirm the question I had before, which I guess it, it's not that big of a deal because I'm pretty sure everyone assumed what the answer was, but for the Re Alice Resonator that has God's Art on it, you can only do it once per game. So once you do it with her, you can't do it ever again, even if it, you play a different Resonator or so on and so forth. So that's good to know just to have it confirmed. It was interesting to note that uh, the secret rares that he pulled, I think I've mentioned before as well, a little bit disappointing that they are just foil. They are not texture as far as I can tell. I tried asking in the Q&A why that was, what the decision was for that. I didn't get an answer, so they're still really pretty and nice, but it's kind of uh, sad that it's not textured. Lastly, the bigger news is that the sort of combo everyone's freaking out about right now is has to do with the Cheshire's assistance or whatever it's called. I'll have it right here. So it reveals the top card of your deck and until end of turn, and you can play the top card of your deck until end of turn, and that's a continuous theme. So when you play that top card, it reveals the next top card, and you can play that, and so on and so forth. And so there's the combo where you fill your deck with 27 Regalia, four of those assistants, four Viola's Machinations, four Heartfelt Fire, and one Invitation of Disaster. And then you run Ahamat, and so on and so forth. And 
uh, you're essentially able to win your first turn. If not, you're pretty much guaranteed to re win turn two. As you can see in, hopefully it's uploaded, it should have been uploaded already, but Oscar and I played this uh, game here. I'll put a link to it, uh, testing it out. We printed out proxies for the deck and played it. And it was pretty consistent as, as long as you remembered to play your regalia correct. We, we picked the regalia intentionally what regalia we used and so if you play them correctly you should be golden and if you can't win that first turn you're able to win your second but anyways the point i'm getting to is that this is a really thing a lot of people are really worried about because prisha otk was a big problem that people didn't like that was really hurting locals and so having a first turn kill would extremely hurt locals and, and really people would not be happy with it so he was asked about this and he basically just said wait till friday he said and before that he did say just play gil 1.0 because gil has the passive of it costs one void to play regalia activate abilities which does stop the deck at least from a first turn kill it doesn't necessarily stop it from a turn two or three kill uh, but he said just to play that which isn't really a good answer in my opinion i didn't really care for that but he kept saying wait till friday so he did say there's not going to be an early rotation that was one rumor that that might happen he said there's not going to be an errata on the card the card is fine as is he said so we don't know if on friday maybe they'll do a some sort of ban on horn of sacred beasts or he there will be some sort of maybe a cr update regarding regalia or zero cost or something with that not quite sure but he kept saying wait until friday it's not going to be a problem really after friday, friday so Hopefully, we'll, we'll wait and see. I'm not quite sure what they'll be revealing. I Once again, I tried asking the Q&A and they're, they're, he said just wait, essentially. So hopefully it'll be something because if, if the solution is just Gil and, and maybe some other cards that you'd have to play to counter it, I, I'd be personally not very happy with that because sure, there's a lot of counters and I'm sure at the competitive level it'll be fine. Although even with Prisha OTK and Prisha in general, it's she's still dominating the gps and all that but the local level is where i'm really concerned because reflector frame had dried up a lot of locals including uh, our local a lot of locals around here and and we've just started building it up and we've already had problems with prussia and and a couple people leaving because of that and so we're trying to build it up again and we're doing pretty good of trying to build it up again just because people just really aren't playing prussia at our locals now just because people really don't like it and so it sucked to sort of revert back to that again so we'll see but yeah so that was basically all the news really there was like two cards that weren't leaked or spoiled that are new that aren't that great if if i feel like it i'll put them right here look at that they're so interesting but outside of that yeah i uh, will stay tuned we're gonna like i said we have that video showing the regalia deck hopefully that won't be a theme by the time friday comes but we'll also be recording vlogs for a pre-release so if you want to follow for that and see how those go and i'm pretty excited oscar will be going to at least two maybe even three pre-releases so that'll be pretty interesting so we'll uh stay tuned for that